Hello everyone, this is attorney Ayhan Ahmed and today I'm uh, in front of you to discuss one of the latest uh, news in immigration actually. As you know by now, uh, USCIS actually came up with the final ruling with respect to fee increases. So there are going to be fee increases with the applications that which will be filed with the USCIS and USCIS published this rule on uh, July 31st and then the rule is going to take effect on October 2nd. That means starting October 2nd, of this year 2020 there are going to be increases and decreases on so many USCIS applications with respect to fees generally if you look into this we see around 20 or 25 percent of increases generally with respect to applications of course some of the applications increase like even more than 500 you know times of the original uh, amount but there are some decreases also on some other applications another important things about this final rule that we can say there are also new version of the forms also coming up this is why when you are following your applications starting October 2nd you want to make sure that you have the latest version that it's going to be the one that you're going to file otherwise your case is going to be rejected so you want to make sure you have the correct amount of fee and the correct actual version of the application when you filing starting October 2nd. Of course, we see another important changes in this uh, final rule is about online filing and versus paper filing. So we see like around $10 decrease or discount with respect to online filing versus actually paper filing. And there are so many applications. Of course, there are so many fee changes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about uh, several important one, uh, which is usually will affect you or people you know, when they are going to be doing cases. So generally about the family cases and family applications, uh, this is why I'm going to give you some samples of them and then and from there we will actually continue. So I can tell you about uh, uh, one of the changes, uh, decreases actually happen with the I-9D application where you actually renew your green card application. So uh, we see there's a decrease actually with that application. Uh, it's going to be actually, if, if you're filing online, it's going to be $405. Uh, if it's going to be paper filing, it's going to be actually $400. $115. So there's actual decrease with the I-90 filings. And if you're going to be filing for your fiance, you know, for their uh, fiance visa with the USCIS, then there's going to be fee changes actually decrease down to $510. And we see some, you know, the minor changes to I-130 immigrant visas. So it's going to be actually around $550. And we see actually a little bit increase on I-131 applications, which is going to go like around $15 up to $590. And another increase we see with the I-539 applications with respect to extension and change of status applications. And we see if you're filing online, it's going to be actually $390. But if you're filing, uh, you know, paper filing, and that's going to be $400. So there's like a $10 difference between online versus paper filing. Uh, there's a huge increase actually with respect to N-400 citizenship applications, naturalization applications. Those fees are going to go up actually. If you're filing a paper filing, it's going to go up from actually $725 to $1,170. If you're going to be filing online, it's going to go up to $1,160. And we see also fee increase with actually employment authorization card applications, which is I-765 applications, especially for non-DACA ones. The applications actually fee is going to increase from $410 to $550. So that's actually a lot increase with respect to getting uh, work permit applications renewed. Another important changes we see with these applications is actually about five Filing I-131 and I-765 applications, when you were filing with the 485 package, right, for 485 applications, it was usually waived for the initial filing. So it will be waived when it's pending too. But now we see that there is no more waiving for I-765 and I-131 application fees when you file with the 485 uh, packages. So that means you're going to have to pay additionally for I-131 fee and also I-765 fees. So I wanted to actually discuss with you guys and explain you this changes is happening. And, you know, it's interesting thing is to see that the USCIS came out with this fee changes and uh, we see several reasons why they came out with these increases and decreases. I wanted to reason the last time when there was a fee changes like that to uh, most of the USCIS applications applications was it was like in 2016 it was like four years ago and secondly due to coronavirus crisis this year we see that starting March USCIS had lost actually so much filing fee application fees that so many people did not file the applications due to coronavirus you know a crisis and the USCIS lost so much actually income from there and that they even end up facing furlough issues with their employment 
with your employees and due to this we see that's another reason why there are so many increases in actually this uh, USCIS application fees. So we wanted to share with you this latest development with respect to USCIS final rule with respect to fee actually changes. I hope it helps you guys and if there are any other changes or any other news we'll be actually with you and then sharing that with you. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.